Hey everybody, um, if you saw yesterday's video, it was the 8 XP pack where it sort of got XP theme on Windows 8. There's still a few more problems with the theme. But today I'm releasing the brand new 72 XP pack. And what's new in it? Well, there's less steps, there's sc or new screensavers from XP, there's new wallpapers. We're going to have a shutdown manager where if you went to shut down the computer you had to have a little pop-up like what it would have been on XP but due to due to delays we cannot have that in this version having problems with the code anyway if you're wondering what it'll look like just to give you a little preview here you can see this was on my other computer so the computer you see here all I've done to is patched the theme files and then I'm going to do this throughout the video but we can see that the taskbar or not, yeah, yeah taskbar has a royal blue theme the new themes are of course we have the original Luna and the Luna area but now we have the silver and the royal themes we have the zoom theme but sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't depends the start button here you get our little thing kind of looking like XP and if you click the all programs button it would bring up a little menu right in the side right there where it did in Vista 7 and of course up here it looks all the same so just the theme on the outside anyway let's get started I made a new readme file um, eventually I'm going to make a PDF file with pictures of each step so you don't have to watch this video if you don't want to for now What's going to happen is, with this folder, we can go ahead and read through here, but I'm not going to bother, is you need to copy the 7 to XP pack folder, and it'll be downloaded, maybe it'll be in like a self-extracting exe file or something, so that way you don't have to go and download each file individually. But go to your local disk, wherever you have Windows installed, and it should have a little Windows logo right there, in the corner of the hard drive. Go to Windows, and then Globalization, and paste it in here. Now while that copies, there's another little trick in here. If you go up here and you put MCT, oops, you get the themes to different countries, like in my personal eyes, we have the United States, and that would have been right here with all the United States wallpapers, but if you're in Canada, you would have got Windows preloaded with the Canada stuff. So, you can just go in there and choose whatever wallpaper you want. Anyway, back in the globalization, the first thing we need to do is patch our system. Patch the theme file so we can make it have the XP look. What, and how do you do that? You go into the theme patcher folder, and if you have 32-bit windows or 64, choose whatever, and if you're wondering what version you have, go to computer, right-click in properties, and then right here it'll either say 64 bit or 32 bit and if you have 32 you run 32, 64, 64 and then OK and I've already patched it so I don't have to do this in the video but you go patch, enter, patch, enter, patch, enter and then restart the computer it's the only thing I've done but now I'm doing everything <laughs> But the next thing you need to do is go into the screensavers folder, and I don't know if the video recorder will catch this, but logging the screensaver, if you have starter, I have no idea what it would say, it would probably say home edition, um, home premium, sometimes it has media center edition, sometimes it has home edition, professional is professional, enterprise and ultimate is professional as well. And if you happen to be running this on two, server 2008R2, and you run that login image screensaver thing, it will actually think you're using Windows Whistler, codename server. So that's how old this thing is, and it was last modified August 30th, 2001. So almost 11 years in a few days. What we need to do is right click all these files and then install. And then it'll install them all, and then you'll see they all are here. And all the ones in here, they are able to work for me. They might not work for you, maybe. Just make sure you have your graphics driver installed. Next thing we have to do is start Orb Changer. And we have three little things here. This is how it would look like 
if it's just sitting like this and if you want to highlight it like the windows logo down here to highlight and have the windows logo go out and then if you click on it it would stay there and go a little bit darker in order to do this you need to obviously open the program and then select and change the start or button now go ahead and restart the windows explorer and if you ever want to restart it you just click that now we can see it looks it's there but it's a little bit smaller than the taskbar we'll get to that later but going back to the 7 xp pack um, globalization next thing we need to do is the theme files oops not the theme files yet you gotta go to the themes you gotta highlight all these files go ahead and copy them go to your local disk windows this time we want resources themes go ahead and paste them in there now go back to the 7xp pack folder again go back to globalization oops get down the windows.old folder under reinstall windows today that's the reason for that but the last thing we need to do is this is a login screen from where it say welcome and choose your username all that and I know Camtasia won't pick this up but go ahead and open tweaks login and then you gotta browse back to that folder globalization 7xp pack login screen and then I don't think it'll catch this but if it does that's how it looks like and it should also work on the control alt delete menu now all we have to do is go ahead and run in the theme files you need to click the theme you want to open and I'll go ahead and open all these so they all install and then install the royal first, I don't know why I did that but you just need to click each individual one you can see as I'm doing this it will go ahead and automatically load the sounds and load the icons but the screen saver you have to go do that yourself because for some reason it doesn't like to do it correctly and it doesn't sync with the theme so I'll go ahead and go back to the royal because that's my favorite theme now to make the icons a little bit smaller we need to right click the desktop go to view and then small icons so those already look like xp now on the taskbar we need to go to properties use small icons and that will make it go small and smaller to fit the button size and then under taskbar buttons choose never combine and that way it'll say the little icons so chrome and then whatever the website is and notepad and the properties so going under here and see just like that I don't think I have anything to scroll into in there but all of our little button or all of our little things here have a little progress bar we have the desktop backgrounds there's a few of them so they they go off about every minute of course you can go change that yourself so I hope you guys all enjoyed the 7XP pack video, and I'll talk to you guys later.